Good morning, Magic. I'm Gavin Verhey from Wizards of the Coast, and yesterday we announced Command Fest Online, which I am so excited about. It's happening on June 6th, so mark your calendars, and it's being run by Channel Fireball Events, who have tons of experience with this kind of thing. And it's going to be an all-day celebration of Commander, where you get to play with your paper cards against people around the world using webcam, which is surprisingly easy to do. There's some great guys online, including one I wrote, on how to do it. Now, it's going to be totally free to enter, although we do have a suggested charitable donation if you would like to make one to the Red Cross. And there's going to be a stream, there's going to be all kinds of fun activities going on around it. You will not want to miss it. But that got me thinking, what if you don't have a Commander deck? So today I want to talk to you about how to build a Commander deck, or at least how I build a Commander deck. Let's kick it off. Step number one, choose your Commander. For me, your Commander is the heart and soul of your Commander deck. And while there are many ways to build your Commander deck, I like choosing it first because it really tells you what kind of direction you should go down. What things are you looking for? What might you want to put into this deck? Your commander will tell you a lot. So pick your favorite legendary creature or a planeswalker that says it can be your commander on it, and let's go to town. For this, I'm going to pick Rael the Everwise. It's brand new from Aquaria. I haven't got a chance to build with it yet, and I'm really, really excited too. Step number two, find your synergy cards. One of my favorite parts about commander is finding those cards that you would never play otherwise, but they have amazing synergy with your commander. So in this case, cards like Tolarian Winds, Breakthrough, Firestorm, even Burning Inquiry are amazing with Riel. So there's all kinds of fun stuff you can find, and in this case, I'm gonna put all these in. Step number three, find what's missing. When it comes to a commander deck, there are kind of five main effects that you will normally want in there. Card draw, mana ramp, pinpoint removal spells, mass removal spells, and threats. Every commander deck pretty much plays these five things at some quantity. And after seeing what I've already put in, I wanna go back and look at what I'm missing. I do it in this order because if I put in what the, I think the staples are first and then I add in my synergy cards, well, I might not actually need some of those original staples because the synergy cards have it covered. For example, in this case, card draw I am good on. Riel's going to have me draw a bunch of cards and I've got plenty of card draw spells already in my deck. But on the flip side, mana ramp, I'm going to be really light on. Blue and red not known for ramping its mana. So I'm going to put in things like Is It Signet, Mind Stone, Collation Relic, things that allow me to ramp my mana really, really well. For sweepers, I'm going to put in things like Blasphemous Act or, yes, of course, Cyclonic Rift. For threats, there's all kinds of mid-range creatures I can choose from. Say, Karanos is a great one that I would put in here. And then, finally, I would say that for pinpoint removal, any amount of blue and red pinpoint removal can do. There's all kinds of great options. Step number four, build your mana base. Lands are crucial, of course, and even though they're often not the most flashy cards in your deck, in a game of Commander where you want to play a land every single turn and you're going to keep using all your mana, you're going to want plenty of lands around. In that previous video, I talked about why I normally play as many lands as I do, but I really recommend 39 to 40 lands to begin with. You just don't want to get mana screwed and you want to play a land every single turn. And the good news is, though, is there's tons of different lands you can play, and they don't have to be rare and splashy lands to make that happen. Even common lands, like cycling lands, are great places to be at. They can give you a mana early if you need them, or you can just cycle them away later if you don't. Step number five, reevaluate everything. Now, this is the point where you ponder your life choices. Okay, okay, not quite that much. But at this point, you should have a pretty big stack of cards in front of you, and now you're going to have to choose which ones to play. You're still going to have to make some tough choices, probably. And what I like doing here is going back and looking at everything in context and reevaluating with everything now in mind. Now, there's no one size fits all solution when it comes to figuring out what ratios of everything should go in your commander deck. But there are some helpful guidelines. And one of my favorite sets was pioneered by our friends over at the Command Zone. And it goes like this You want 10 mana ramp sources, 10 card draw sources, 5 mass removal spells, and 5 target removal spells. And if you can include all of those, your deck will be well equipped to deal with most things, or at least be on the right track. And you're going to have some overlap. For example, the draw spell and a ramp spell. And that's okay. That can go in both categories. It can count toward both. I also, in this stage, usually add in a few ways to deal with tricky permanent types, like, say, artifacts or enchantments or graveyards, as I covered in the previous video. So you'll want to make sure you have answers for those. And ultimately, it's personal preference. Find the cards that you like and the ones that fit the categories that you'll enjoy the most. And that's a very quick look at how I build my commander decks. If you want to see the final real deck list, check out the description below. It's in there. I'll be back on Monday, and please consider subscribing. That way you'll never miss an episode. Or just go back and watch some of my previous ones. There's a lot of fun stuff out there. Talk to you again then. In the meantime, may you get ready for Command Fest Online, June 6th. I'll be seeing you there. You got this.